get into the Red Hot Report. If you're in the market for a new home, you know it's all about location, location, domination? Looking for a new colonial style home in the suburbs of Philadelphia? This home might be just the place for you. It has five bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a BDSM basement? The house, which the owners listed as 50 Shades of Maple Glen, looks like your standard suburban home at first. But look a little closer. There's more here than meets the eye. The real estate listing immediately went viral after social media caught on to the eye-popping property's unique use of the basement. Worried you won't be able to recreate this couple's sex bunker? Not to worry, because this house is being sold fully furnished, whips and all. Ah, so Vivica, would you like a house like that? Mm, yeah. Yeah. That would be fun. Exactly. I mean, it could be, it, I mean, you know, it's spice things fun. up, make things different, you know? fun, you know? Yeah. How about you, Mary? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not an illegal one up. That's fun. What if you think your significant other might be red hot for someone else? Mm -hmm. Well, for about five bucks, there's a new website that lets you find out if your significant other is on dating apps. What do y'all think about I, that? I think it's interesting to know because I think always, you know, check and verify. It's always good to know where your partner's at. Mm, well, I don't know if I really agree with that. I don't think it's very healthy to be I, snooping on the people that you're with. I hope the trust is there. But for those of you guys who might be serial cheaters, I mean, this is a good thing to know. Hey, maybe there is a dating your app. tracks are not covered, you know, and you shouldn't be doing that. Mary? I'd save the five bucks because if I'm in love and I trust him, that's all I need. Right. I don't need to be snooping. But Mary, let me ask you this. What if you are dating someone that you're in love with and then all of a sudden you've trusted this person for so long and there's just like women, we get that little intuition, there's something there and you check and then you find out that it was all a lie. What happens then? Then it's all over with. Goodbye. <laughs> Kick him to the curb really quick, right? I mean, I, yeah. You gotta understand, I lived most of my life without social media. And we all live, yeah. we're all healthy. So. I wanna know what the fellows think. Yeah. Dimitri, yes. what do you think about the dating app? Look, trust is great, but every guy's different. You never know what you're gonna get, no matter what relationship you, that you're in. So it's fine to check, but don't be obsessed with it. Absolutely. Don't let it control your life. Don't let it control the relationship. Other than that, trust your partner, see where it goes. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Thank you, Dimitri. Now, we, we had to get a little, little chocolate love up in here today. Oh, all right.